So, I'm guessing you clicked on this video because you want to see things like this. Well, you come to the right place. Have you ever purchased a lightsaber before? Do you know what kind of lightsaber you want? Do you know how much money you want to spend? Or do you even know if this hobby is worth it for you? Stay tuned and stick around, and welcome to New Type Sip. What is up everybody and welcome back to another video from New Type Sith. Now if you haven't already, please make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can be updated on more nerd news, lightsaber reviews, and much more. Now today we're going to be going on a discovery and now, now that I think about it, I should probably look a little more prepared for a discovery. So, excuse me. Well, now that I got my survivor hat on, I am ready to help you, maybe you, I don't know. If you're into lightsabers and you're watching this, this might be completely irrelevant for you. But if you do not own a lightsaber and you've been wondering what your first lightsaber should be, or maybe if this hobby is right for you or not, this is possibly the perfect video for you. I don't know, it's coming from me. Now I'm gonna just jump right off the bat. Lightsabers for me, I've only been in the lightsaber community ugh, like 11 months not even a whole year. So it's not like I'm the most knowledgeable about these things. But what I do know is I have been pointed in the right directions by a lot of amazing people to make sure that this hobby was either gonna be the right hobby for me or maybe I shouldn't be spending my money on this. And what I mean by that is these lightsabers can be very expensive, but they can also be very cheap. There's all sorts of variants. You could either do a cannon hilt, you could do a custom hilt, you could do things that are in hilt, uh, RGB lights, you could do neo pixels, you could do smooth swing, you could do non smooth swing, you could do stunt sabers. You could just do shelf queens and shelf pieces, things that won't even be installed and you'll just have an empty hilt sitting on your desk. So this video, I really hope that I can, I guess, guide you to the right lightsaber for you. Or maybe if you just wanna keep watching these cool videos on YouTube and don't wanna spend the money yourself, which I definitely don't blame you. So. By getting into this, I figured I would just, I guess, share not only my knowledge, but my experience with lightsabers and how I started with it. As far as lightsabers go, when I first got into custom lightsabers, I only knew about the, I guess, cheaper options like the FX sabers and stuff like that, like the whole telescopic ones we got as we were kids. Like, I didn't realize that they have progressed as far as NeoPixel, or even if I don't like the Galaxy Edge ones, even those, like the Savis, the fact that it still is a string blade, but it still shows illumination going up. Like, I thought that was awesome first time I seen a video or anything like that. But the question always kept coming back in my head, can I afford this? Like, should I be getting into this hobby? Well, to tell you the truth, as long as you start slow, like any other hobby, I feel like you'll be able to find out if this is right or not for you. For me, I personally went the cheaper option at first because for me, I didn't want to spend a lot of money right off the bat just in case it wasn't for me. So what I did is I ended up going with this. This is an LGT lightsaber. It's actually pretty cheap. Like this one is a in-hilt RGB Eco Smooth Swing. So what does that mean? It means it doesn't have the best smooth swing. It, it's not like a full smooth swing. It doesn't have like the best algorithms or anything like that. It's not the best, but for starting out, it was awesome. And to tell you the truth in camera, I mean, they still look fantastic and you can duel with these. And not only can you duel with these, but it's a freaking lightsaber. Like regardless, this isn't like your telescopic Walmart or Target lightsaber. Like to me, I still consider this a full blown lightsaber. I mean, it's dope. It still has light sounds. I have it on mute right now, but still has sounds. It has clash. It has, you know, everything you would want for a lightsaber, but the technology with these things, they've gotten a lot better. So you can go from something like this to this. And this is also an LGT lightsaber. Now, you can get a NeoPixel option from multiple different resellers. And it's not even just LGT. You have other options like custom lightsabers from Etsy. Uh, you can even go the route of going Saber Forge. Saber Forge has Ecos. 
If you want to do something cheap, like the first option, it's anywhere between like 85 to like, mm, we're sticking with LGT, probably like $200, like max for a in-hill RGB. That's obviously a custom hilt, not Canon. Canon hilts, they can range anywhere between like 300, 500 plus, depending on what the electronics are that's inside of it, considering LGT. So here we have a Saber Forge Eco Hilt. And if you guys haven't, I'll make sure to put a video up here on the full unboxing and review of this lightsaber. It's a beautiful lightsaber and it was $150 shipped. That's right. This hilt with electronics and a blade was $150. Now it is RGB single color, so it does not tri -cree. It doesn't change colors. I picked purple, it has purple illuminate switch, but it's dead. And that's my own fault. I didn't charge anything. Honestly, I woke up this morning with a hair up my ass. Hey, let's make a video on this. So here we are. So sorry if that offended anybody, but whatever. Here we are. Here we go. Saber Forge. Sick. Eco. Sick. Power. Super Power. cheap. That was for a different Saber. Don't worry. This one's still dead. Now that you've seen, I guess, like the more cheaper options, the next, I guess, upgrade up would be something like the Pock Store. Where the POC store and Saber Forge, they're still pre-kit, pre-installed. So you can already get them with electronics and everything in them. So you don't have to have it sent out to a custom installer or anything like that. You can just purchase it and eventually it will show up on your door. When I say eventually, this is going to be a big thing. If this is your first time watching Saber videos or if you've been watching lightsaber videos wondering how long does it take to get a lightsaber? It can take a very, very, very long time. So next best option is this one. This is a uh, POC store lightsaber. It's a Gundam lightsaber. I've been posting it a lot because it's sick. Once again, thank you for cold weathers. You're the man. And I have another POC store lightsaber right here. This is the black and red RVS. This is Darth Revan's uh jedi or sith light yeah it's a sith lightsaber i get them mixed up his sith lightsaber looks like the jedi his jedi i don't know it just doesn't make sense but anyways boom here we go here it is sick right two pox store lightsabers you know what the coolest thing about these just like the lgts you can swap cores around so you can have a pre-kit for asteria or a profi whatever you want i only have the asteria because I was a cheap ass when I first bought this. And on top of that, I, wanted, I kind of wanted to like try out the Asteria board. It's definitely not my favorite, but it's still pretty awesome. So yeah, this one has no electronics in it because the electronics from this went to this. So here you go. So sumptuous. Oh yeah, it's definitely OB. So anyways, NeoPixel uh, has everything. Smooth swing, has blasters. You can have music on it. Um, and yeah, it's they're pretty cheap. Uh, I think... One of these shit with a blade and electronics, like $450, it's really not that bad. Especially for, the hilt quality is amazing. I will say that. I really enjoy the POC store hilts. Like, they feel great, they look great, they're awesome. You just might have to deal with some shipping delays and stuff like that. But if that's okay for you, then definitely get one. If not, maybe the Saber Forge is more up your alley. Now let's move to the next tier, which I'm going to just put this in a tier of its own and it's Saber Trio. And that's just because Saber Trio is badass. And I feel like they're at a price range of their own because they're right in the middle. They're like right before it gets really, really expensive, but you're still getting the same feel and quality as you would for like the most top tier Saber. So let's check those out. And here is a Saber Trio. I've been using this a lot in a lot of my videos because I love it. They're super easy to use. It has CFX, which is called Crystal Focus 10. It is the type of soundboards that go in these. Uh, there's all sorts of soundboards. Um, like I just explained about the Asteria. Uh, my first LGT uh, Profi, uh, which is a Profi cord. The first NeoPixel lightsaber I showed in this video, that was Profi. Then you had Asteria, now you have CFX. I like CFX, and, and even Asteria has the same thing, but I like Deep Sleep. That means this thing shuts off on its own, the battery will not keep draining itself. You can just put it to the side, pick it back up in a couple days, and it's as simple as this. You just you just start it, you, and you're good to go. Multiple reasons why Saber Trio should be in a tier of its own is simply the fact that not only are the hilts all custom, but they're very sturdy. They're they're comfortable, but dude, the sound resonance. 
from the pommels that they have, the speakers that they use, the electronics that they use, just all the hard work that they do to make these lightsabers as perfect as possible for you. And it's not completely breaking the bank. I mean, to be real, yes, lightsaber, it sounds expensive when you're buying something that's six, $700. I mean, even $100 is expensive. But when you're getting into a hobby like this, you're, you're gonna have to know you're spending money. And that's kind of why I have, I guess, this video. Why I wanted to make this video. Because for me, getting into this hobby, I waited months before I bought my first lightsaber. And the reason is because is I wanted to make sure I was making the right first purchase. Now that you've heard enough about Saber Trio, I'm gonna go into the last tier of lightsabers, um, of what I would consider if you are planning on sticking with this hobby for a long time, and this is something you really wanna spend your money in. Now, this would be a custom built, custom installed lightsaber. And like you guys have seen before, here is my Saber Forge Bane Mark II custom kyber crystal chamber reveal uh, it's profi 2 uh, v2 uh, it's a two button setup um, it's a really awesome lightsaber and if you couldn't tell it looks amazing and this was one of the saber forge hilts so this hilt alone is not very expensive um, i mean it will cost you more than like your typical like led in hilt like lgt or something like that but as far as like your top tier like empty hilts the sun's actually pretty cheap. It's only like $150 to $200. And install, yes, will cost you a little bit. Same with parts. So roundabout for me, I think I'm about $700, $800 into this lightsaber. That's with a KR show blade as well. So that's like $150 NeoPixel blade in general. So like this lightsaber, I wanted it to be the top of the top of the top. Make sure that you are dedicated to this hobby. Make sure that you are, you are ready to spend the money. Another thing that is really big about lightsabers and the lightsaber community are installers. And these guys, this is their jobs, their career to put these lightsabers together. Most of them. Some people do it on the side. The bigger names, I mean, this is their job. This is their business. So when you go to them and you're like, hey, I don't know why it's this much to do it. Well, it's because they're knowledge. I mean, these guys have to buy the tools. These guys have to study and do the work to wire these things up. They have to perfect it. So when you start this, it's not like a vape blown up in your face because the battery's not right. I mean, these guys take a lot of time to build these lightsabers to be perfect for you. So please, if you are going to do a custom lightsaber, do your research before so you're just not going to an installer. Like, yeah, they'll teach you. They'll walk you through it but just don't expect it to be free. Don't expect things to be super cheap. And I'm not saying that as a bad thing. I'm saying you're paying for their time. Like these guys build freaking lightsabers, dude. Like think about that. We have lightsabers now that we can consider as real as possible. Like, yeah, it's not a beam of light, but dude, it looks damn real, especially in a video, something like this. So please, if you're going to get an installed saber, just make sure to be, you know, as, lenient and make sure to be patient and they will usually give you a lead time and it's usually always perfect depending on who you go through i know there's some bad egg installers but most of the good installers like babu sabers solo sabers nerf herder uh sebastian from starlight i mean there's just so many great installers out there so if that's what you want to do make sure to just do your research give it some time and then find the right installer for you well, that's the last thing I'm gonna say about installed sabers. Are lightsabers right for you? You need to decide, you need to pick. Do you wanna spend the money on it? Do you wanna start off cheap? Whatever you wanna do, may the force be with you, and I hope the best on your lightsaber journey. Thank you everybody for watching this video. I'm sorry once again if it was just a ramble for you guys, but I had a lot of fun, and me and the Survivor Hat, we're getting out of here, and you guys have a great one. Thank you.